You think we have enough bowls? No. I think we might need a couple more. Not, not enough to fish these ponds. So today we are with, I'm with Whisper Boy, the Fish Whisperer. We are going pond fishing. Oh yeah, and Grant and Charlie. We are going pond fishing. Um, and yeah, so it's cloudy. It's kind of misting a little bit. You know, it's got kind of like the eerie, eerie feeling. And so I'm going to throw a frog. So my goal is to catch a frog fish today because it's like December 29th, 8th, something like that. So for me to catch... Wrong way. Wrong way. For me to catch a topwater fish, especially a frog fish in December, would just be, would just be ridiculous. So we're... So we're doing, we're going pond fishing. I got a jig and uh, frog is the only two baits I've really got on me right now. We're just gonna go pond hopping today. I've got a flight at six to go back home. So we've got, you know, four or five hours to try to, try to kill some time and uh, catch some bass. All right, folks, starting off, a little, little top water frog action. I'm gonna be like beyond excited. Oh wow, tree, sick flare. What I was saying is I'm gonna be beyond excited if I catch one on a frog today. It's gonna be my, my goal for the day, it's just frogging. Make sure my drag's tightened down. Oh, oh, he just caught one on a frog. Grant's way over there, you guys can't see it. He just caught one on a frog. That's not a bad one. It's like a two or th two, yeah, two. Grant just caught a two on a frog, so that's, that's a good sign. Throw on those, like, the yeah, the little grass little things. Grass okay. There's one. Yep, my frog fish. Let's go. That's a good one too. I'm gonna keep him down, keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Let's go, baby. Frog fish in December. Oh, you stay down, big girl. Yeah. There we go. On the frog. Look at look at that. Two and a half. She freaking choked it. Absolutely choked that frog, dude. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, this just this puts me right back at home. Frog fishing, love it. Nothing better. So that is uh, it's fish number one, two and a half or so. I'm on that little top water frog. See you, Levante. Whoa, Levante got attitude. That's what's up. That is exactly what I wanted. I was just saying my goal is to catch one on a frog. I did it in the first two minutes. So today's gonna be a good day. Today's the day that you dream about. The weather's right. It's misting. It's starting to kind of rain a little bit. It's cloudy, it's warm, it's gonna be fun. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go two for two here. There's, I caught that one in a grass mat, like way over there, there's one right in front. Let's see if I can reach it. Got it, all right, this is uh, oh, Kyle says it's gonna be it, I'm ready. Two couple twitches right off that mat. Come on fish, come on fish, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it, oh, come on, eat it. That should've been him right there. All right, move spots a little bit. Just kind of, oh wow, it's starting to rain. This should be interesting. So we're kind of walking back a little bit. I walked around this pond, Grant caught one, I caught one, and uh, not much else. I did throw the jig a little bit. We're throwing drop shots, jigs, square bills, frogs. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna walk back and make a couple more casts where I did catch that one. The, uh, that one like two and a half pounder, and then we're gonna, we're gonna make a move. I think we're gonna fish four to five ponds today, so this is just one. And the next one, he, uh, Whisper Boy said that it's good for uh, frogging, so I'm kind of excited. Made a couple casts, didn't get anything. I'm gonna kind of make my way around this pond, fish these corners. I mean, I guess I could give you guys a tip right now. So looking at this pond, it's it's nice and open, and then there's like a little, little kind of like, like it's like a little inlet. It's like an opposite of a point. I guess it'd be a point on the water. That's kind of where fish congregate. I mean, it really just, it really depends on the pond. There's, you know, for those of you guys who pond fish, you guys know you got like juicy spots and you got like okay spots. But for those of you guys like fishing new ponds like I am right now, like I've never been here, um, you just kind of want to like focus on points or like little little inlets like this. Right now I'm walking up to the third pond. This is like frog and just absolutely frog in heaven. I'm glad that I decided to try to make this into like a frog fishing video because this, this is exactly what we want right here. It's like some flooded, flooded grass action. This looks, this looks way too good. I'm excited. Oh, 
Oh, that was a big in. Oh my God, that was a big in. Uh-oh. Whisper boy just lost like a five pounder on the whopper plopper. Good heavens, that, it looked like he just got a bowling ball and dropped it in the water. Oh, he just missed another one. What the heck, why are they out in the middle? You got him? Okay, okay, hang on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Middle school track trained me for this moment. Let's go. Look Look at that. Nailed him on the plopper. Dude, a plopper. He only hit That's it five times. crazy. Look at that fish. Mm, solid fish. Oh my gosh. Bad. There you go. Kyle the fish whisperer. Whispering to them biggins. Top water bass in December. Texas. Dude, that was nuts. Sick. You caught that thing on a what? Look at this bait. First of all, what the hell is this? <laughs> all right, what what in, what on God's earth do these fish think this thing is? And why does it catch biggins? Dude, that's crazy. Good work. Kyle's nice enough. He's gonna let me throw the plopper. See if we can catch catch a fish here. All right, we're leaving this pond. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah. Fish, uh, fish whisper, caught about a four and a half on the plopper. That was pretty sick. We, where are we going right now? Are we going, are we get food we're or? We're going to Whataburger right now. We're going to get food at Whataburger. I haven't had that since like February at actually the classic with uh, Lunkers TV. So we're gonna go get Whataburger as I'm crossing this muddy creek. Son of a, I got mud on me now. Yeah, we're going to get food and then, are there, do we have any other fire ponds to hit? Or are you fire ponded out? No, we got two more good ones. Two more good ones. So we're gonna go get Whataburger, two more good ponds. That's pretty much it. It's about, it's about all, we've, all we've got time for today, but I'm actually super excited for this food. I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> Whataburger. We're for sure getting kicked out. A few moments later. Hi, thank you. Have a great day. You too. So we were leaving Whataburger. They wouldn't let me film. I brought my camera in there, and this chick was all like, Did it rain? Yeah. Did it, it rained. It. It's, it's like awesome. everything soaked. It rained. She was like, yo, you can't film in here. Maybe blah, blah, it. blah. There was also some cops in there. So you know what? I didn't film. I got uh, a breakfast bun thing or something. It's pretty good. But we got two more ponds to hit before the, uh, the end of the day before I go home. And uh, You said there's some big ones in yeah, this next one, right? Some big ones? Biggins, that's what we want right now. I didn't come to Texas to catch flare fish. We're going for biggins. Made it to, I don't even know, this is probably the third, fourth, fifth, sixth pond. I haven't really been keeping track. This one's a touch different. I didn't bring any top water with me. I know that was kind of my goal today. You know, frog fish, it's kind of fun. I've got a jig and a chatterbait. Chatterbait's kind of my thing, you guys know that. So I might, uh, might toss that little dude around, throw a jig on the bottom. It's like super, super muddy. You can't see anything here, but Whisper Boy was telling me that this uh, it's got some decent fish in this place, so we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Got one. You got one? Oh wow, you oh, do have fish. Oh five. wow, five, five, five. five. dude, oh, five. five. That's a five. That's a five. Sweet dude. That's a five ouncer. Just trying to Good be work. like clear. You did, yeah, dude. You just you gotta you gotta hang with me, you know. You can't you can't always catch some biggins. You gotta you gotta stick with the flare. Boom, son. Look at the belly. Right well, that's one fish. Yeah, I can see it. So, I don't know why. so that's you can see that like little brown line right there. That's where the water normally is. So it's this is like this is a few few feet low. Kyle was saying he caught some, some sixes right here. This is the the final pond that we're fishing. So we're just kind of flipping jigs, and I don't know. Water water low is usually not a good thing. You know me. I know you. I swear to God, I knew that who that was. I looked over and saw it. Oh yeah, I'm the only one that's stupid enough to wear this. What are you doing on my side of the water, man? Uh, I don't know. I'm just following this guy around. He's trying to put me on some fish. Is there? Right down there, just get about right here and pitch. Just pitch kind of out in the middle. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Ooh, there's a boil. He's got it. 
Yep, yeah. that's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Dude, it's a big one. Oh my god, it's huge. Grab it. Yes, dude. Oh my god. Look how big this fish is. Are you kidding me right now? Five or six. Oh my god. Are you. Do you have a scale? Yeah, I do. In my throat. Oh my gosh. That's a six, dude. That's a freaking massive fish. Five seven three. Five seven three. Yeah, almost six. Solid. All right, what we gonna name? What we gonna name this one? You know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling Sheila right now. You think she's a Sheila? Yeah, she, kinda, all right, she kind of looks like a Sheila to me. She See a Sheila? I don't even know what to say. Like we were literally like we went from one pond to the other. And we're like, okay, let's just come down here. You know, make a cast. We gotta leave. Cause like I said, we gotta go. I gotta get on get on a plane and go home. But I don't even know what to say, dude. I'm I'm freaking speechless. That was crazy. Six pounder on a jig. I was just oh, like, takes one bite. just like nicked it, and I was like, oh, dude, she's there. And when I set the hook, I was like, oh, I'm snagged. No, dude, that's just a freaking donkey. So you guys, you guys didn't catch any? No, it's on that sick pontoon over there. Yeah, you were crawling over it. No. <laughs> How big is that? Way. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, dump us off. Oh yeah. yeah. How big is that? Uh, about six. Yeah, dump us what off. What the at heck? The yeah, son. Look at that right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Take us to the bad Cr pond we, so that we yeah, can get out of the I've hair. caught fish in both places. Whisper boy, thank you I'll for having us. Later. No yeah, problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back. Come back anytime. Check out his channel for more dope slow mo stuff that you guys saw the other day. Please do. And uh, yeah, see you All soon. Alright, Kyle. See yeah, we'll, see we'll fish soon for sure. Six and a half hours later. It's all of our gear. I have to spend the next probably five, ten minutes organizing that. I gotta go get on a plane because uh, there's a lot of traffic. So I've got a couple hours for my flight, but we're gonna we're gonna take off for the airport. But I had a really fun time with these. I'm gonna call the Guggen Juniors because you guys are pretty Guggenish. So that's what that's basically what's going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had, a, I had an incredible time in Texas. I'm glad this audio is probably really good since Dingledorf over here is slamming rods around. Um, yeah, no, I had a really good time uh, fishing with Lake Fork guy and. Pretty much everybody else. So if you guys enjoyed that, oh yeah, did I catch? I caught a six pounder today. That was pretty exciting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna be in Nebraska. I don't know if I'm gonna be either ice fishing because it's kind of warm. It's like 40 degrees where I live. It warmed up for some reason. So I don't know if it'll be ice fishing or maybe even duck hunting or what is this kid doing? What is this kid doing with his life? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to be doing, but I can promise you videos are to come. Like I said, I always say this in videos, uh, but comment down below what you guys want to see. You know, I'm here for you guys. You guys support me, so I want to help you and entertain you. Let me know what you guys want to see. Fishing, hunting, paintball, any ideas? Fishing. Fishing? Okay, I guess just fishing. But let me know for real. Smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and peace. What are those? Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh wait, <laughs> they're, they're actually nothing. They're, they're actually nothing. He has no shoes on.